Steve Austin. Steve Austin is a big, bad professional wrestler fully known as... The Crusher. The Crusher. I'll agree. You fuck! <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Ben Schneider, and on this April Fool's Day, I want to have some fun by reliving one of my favorite game show episodes of all time. It's not a million dollar win, it's not a double showcase win, and it's not an underrated moment from a GSN show. It's the You Fool episode of Tom Bergeron's Hollywood Squares. And hopefully by the end of the video, you'll understand why. I don't want to go too deep into the history of Hollywood Squares for this video, but in case you've never seen the show before, here's a quick rundown. Two contestants compete against each other in a glorified version of tic-tac-toe. The nine squares on the tic-tac-toe board are filled with celebrity panelists, ranging from everyone from Whoopi Goldberg to Bear in the Big Blue House. The celebrities are asked a trivia question by the host. Usually they'll provide some comic relief by giving a joke answer first. Once they give their real answer, the contestant must either agree or disagree. Doing so correctly captures the square, while doing so incorrectly gives their opponent the square instead. In the case of a tie, the contestant that captures five squares wins the round. And such a scenario came up on October 1st, 1999. Challenger Valerie Northington has four squares to returning champion David Schwacher's three. And she selects Penn and Teller to try for the win. Penn and Teller for the win! Penn and Teller! MGM Grand Las Vegas, September 30th through October 4th. Oh, we sure are. Give it to him. Right, we will, guys. sir. We Comedians will. have been using this gag item for years. The Loftus Novelty Supply Company in Salt Lake City is the only U.S. manufacturer of them. What are they? We have a mnemonic device sitting right below us. Yes? A very good mnemonic device. It is the Whoopi Cushion. Ooh, we the Whoopi Cushion. cushion. Ooh, we a cow. I'll agree. You it fool! You <laughs> fool! <laughs> the rubber, I'm lying to rubber you! Rubber chicken is you what it is. Chicken. Yes. 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 Look at me, I'm a liar! <laughs> Look at me! <laughs> I lie! Now, contrary to popular belief, Penn Jillette was actually the one who started the You Fool trend. But comedian Gilbert Gottfried was left sitting in the ninth and final square. And he's about to end up using that phrase more times than you can count. Gilbert, Playgirl Magazine's clinical sexologist says, I, I think we should be able to talk about sex the way we talk about what? Soft-boiled eggs, because they don't take under three minutes. <laughs> In three minutes? <laughs> no, I know this one, because I pose for Playgirl. <laughs> I don't actually see anything because my thumb was in the way. <laughs> I'm going to say food. I'll disagree. Food. All right. Now, now, here's what happens in a case like this. We could have a five square win that you could pull off, Valerie, by picking uh, the only square left. But we'll have to wait and find out how you do right after this. Stay there. David misses his opportunity to win, and Gilbert decides to cut him some slack. But he shows absolutely no mercy towards either of them once the show comes back from commercial. Welcome back to maybe the longest first thousand dollar game we've ever had. Valerie going for a five square win here. Where are you going? Gilbert Gottfried wow, for the win! what a win. surprise. Okay. <laughs> Gilbert, in a, in a poll, 94% of Hungarians, compared to only 46% of Americans, said doing this was necessary to feel fulfilled. Doing what? Seeing Wayne Newton live. <laughs> <laughs> Um, having a child. I disagree. You fool! <laughs> having, having a child is correct, David. Oh <laughs> David? Gilbert Godfrey. Gilbert Godfrey! <laughs> so All right, Gilbert. We love you. Here we go. When she, this happened first season, too, didn't it? Yeah. When she heard that Phileas Fogg had done it in 80 days, journalist Nellie Bly beat him by doing it in 72 days. Mm. What did she do? Get through to the cable company. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know this. Trust me. Trust me. Uh, this is rowing the Atlantic. I'm going to agree. You fool! <laughs> 
she went around the world in 72 days. If you're just tuning in, welcome to the Gilbert Gottfried Show. Gilbert Gottfried. It's, uh, it's French designer named it the Atom because of its small size and the explosive effect a woman would have when she wore it. Today, it's better known as... It's in my pants! <laughs> but your thumb's covering it. Yeah. <laughs> in fact, it's covering it right now! Oh, yeah. Boy. The tube top! Oh, I agree! You fool! <laughs> It's the bikini, so David, back to you. Get it out for you. <laughs> Gilbert, what significance does 1908 have if you were a Chicago Cubs fan? Uh, that's the year you were in Chicago. <laughs> okay, it's the last perfect pitch game. <laughs> I'm gonna agree. You, you fool! series so <laughs> Valerie we're gonna take a commercial break <laughs> and we'll be right back with more of the Gilbert Godfrey Hour. So four you fools later and the producers decide to take another commercial break. But surely Valerie can close the round out when they come back right? Welcome back to Biography's Tribute to Gilbert Godfrey. <laughs> Valerie, your turn. Gilbert Godfrey for yeah. the win. For the win, yes. You're cool. All right, Gilbert. Steve Austin. Steve Austin is a big, bad professional wrestler fully known as... Tubby. <laughs> no, I know this one. Because yeah. I used to wrestle with Steve oh. Austin. <laughs> the Crusher. The Crusher. I'll agree. You fool! Officer Dave. <laughs> Gilbert Godfrey for the win. Gilbert Godfrey for the win. <laughs> By the way, if we run out of time during this or any other game, we're all going out for drinks. <laughs> the, the, word, the word smog comes from what two words? Uh, smelly fog. <laughs> No, it's smoke and fog. Smoke and fog. I'm gonna agree. Smoke and fog! Yes! 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 By the way, even though we never got to a secret square game today, we'll carry the intended prize over to tomorrow's show. Valerie, we're going to give fool! you... <laughs> Valerie, this was an incredible half hour. We're going to give you $500 in psychological counseling. <laughs> At our expense, nice to meet you. Officer Dave, you got $1,000. You uh, successfully defended your championship. <laughs> okay. So, with all of that, the first round ends up lasting almost the entire episode. Because of this, David ends up winning the episode and picks up another 10 grand in the bonus round. He'll come back on Monday's show but lose to another challenger there, going home with a total of $26,226. And with that, one of the greatest, funniest, and most memorable game show episodes ever comes to an end. Thanks for watching. On behalf of all of our stars who've witnessed the strangest show we ever did, I'm Tom Bergeron. See you on Monday on Hollywood Square. Wow!